Welcome to the realm of astrology. This is your daily horoscope for May 22nd, 2021, which is a Saturday. Today, the moon is going to try and Saturn and sextile and try and Venus as well. So we will talk about all that, but before that, please hit the subscribe button. All right, so the first thing that I want to begin with is the fact, is something that I haven't spoken about and I should have, is that Jupiter and the sun are squaring making a 90 degree angle okay they've been squaring for the past two days the orb is still very tight two degree orb so they are still in a square and what is this energy jupiter square the sun the two biggies of the zodiac are in an angle that they don't like to be in 90 degrees which means change which means adjustment which means action challenges obstacles and what are the challenges what are the obstacles with the sun in Gemini? This could very well be something connected to your immediate environment, to your communication, to your mind, to your perception, to your siblings. And Jupiter in Pisces is all about the higher realm, connecting with the divine spirituality, addictions, deception, lies, delusions as well. So there could be some kind of conflict in these two areas. However, this also means we have tremendous energy to transform and change and take action. Because when two such powerful energies square, make a 90 degree angle, we there is so much friction that it propels us to change. It propels us to change. Okay, so that's happening. That has been happening. We have been in this immense energy to get things done, to change things, to make things happen for the past two days since the sun changed signs from Taurus into Gemini. And this is going to make you change a lot. Why? Because both these planets are immutable signs. Gemini, easily changeable. Pisces, easily changeable. A lot of adjusting your path, figuring out what works, what doesn't. And we have the energy for it. In fact, the friction is so much that we will need to make those changes and take that action. Yes. And the next thing that I want to talk about happens at noon. You guys can see the chart Pacific time. Okay. The moon here is going to trine the north node, 120 degree angle. At the same time, it is going to oppose Chiron, 180 degree angle. And it is going to quincux Uranus. Okay, 150 degree angle. And this is a lot. It's going to sextile the south node as well. So a lot is happening. The moon, which is our emotional body, which is our day-to-day -day life, so to speak, is making a lot of aspects, meanings. It's going through a lot of things. What are those things? Let's break them down, okay, one by one. So let's start with the moon. Trying the north node. Whatever our goals are, because the north node is our goals, we are feeling very positive about them. Something's happening, perhaps, perhaps, the fact that Jupiter and the sun are in square and they're making so many changes, there's so much energy energy to change and transform and adjust that we are feeling positive about the goals. We, we made a change and we feel like, yeah, this change is working, I'm feeling good about it. So that happens. And the next thing is the quincunx to Uranus, 150 degree angle. This can happen out of the blue. This feeling of feeling very good about your goals can happen suddenly because Uranus is sudden energy, okay? However, it's in an opposition to Chiron. There's a healing element to this whole thing. It may not feel easy. It will feel a little bittersweet because Chiron is bittersweet, but it's connected to our healing, all right? And with the sextile to the South Node, I believe that as we are moving on since March, the past is seeming more and more and more like a distant future. Why since March? Because in March, we ended a lot of things. We closed a lot of cycle. And March 20th, the new astrological year began. Okay, we let go of the past in March. And since then, it's becoming more and more and more incompatible. We can't even identify who we were back then, back a year or two years ago. Two years ago, more like it. All right, so that happens at noon and I'm going to move through this really fast and talk only about the important aspects, okay, because I want to keep it as short as possible. The next thing is at about 4 p.m. Pacific time, the moon is going to try and Saturn. 
okay this is what i mentioned in the beginning of the video moon trine saturn saturn is a very difficult energy let's be honest it's hard work it's discipline it's decisions it it demands you to do things even when you don't want to do them okay and with a trine 120 degree angle to our emotions saturn is finally supporting our emotions whatever work we've done we're feeling good about those things it's helping us okay it's helping us so this is also the point where we may define something connected to our emotions we may take an emotional decision and it won't be difficult because they are in a trine it'll come naturally it'll come naturally and let's not forget this is a grand trine in air happening okay what is a grand trine saturn is making a 120 degree angle with all this gemini energy the moon is making a 120 degree angle and they are also making a 120 degree angle as you can see on the chart 120 degree angles are very harmonious they facilitate things and in this case saturn has been supporting our goals it has been doing it for quite some time now and now it's supporting our emotions also and emotionally we are feeling very good about our goals and a grand trine, grand trine in air also means that there is a lot of emotion, uh, intellectual energy out there because air is an intellectual sign okay so this is a great day for intellectual work as well everything is supporting that and since the moon is in libra and libra what do we focus on we focus on relationships with this grand trine with this grand trine our goals our goals not not our Venus things, relationships, love, money, finances, self-worth, value, skills, our Mercury things, day-to-day -day routine, health, diet, mind, immediate environment, perception, and the sun, our identity, our soul, who we are becoming, is all being supported by Saturn for the long run. All this that is happening in these areas of our lives that I just mentioned is for the long run. And in this case, the moon in the sign of Libra, relationships are also falling in sync with the long run with our goals, with our finances, with our diet, with our health, with our soul, with our identity. And this is again for the long run because it's not trying to Saturn. It's one of those days where things begin to fall into place. And yes, Jupiter and the sun are still in square. However, it's not a negative square. You know, certain squares are extremely challenging. This is more a square because there's so much energy in mutable signs. You will change. You will take action. And the rest of the chart is positive. It's a grand trine in air. Okay. And yes, Mercury and Neptune started squaring yesterday. However, they are still not exact. 22, 53, Merc uh, Neptune and Mercury is at 20 to 49. They will be exact sometime today. And I mentioned this in yesterday's video, so I won't go over it in detail. This is a lot of sensitive energy. You may not be able to say things clearly. You may overreact. You may feel confused about things, but let this energy pass and it will pass. Okay. The next thing is the fact that the Mars Venus semi sextile is building. It's not exact yet. Mars is the masculine, Venus is the feminine. Venus is our relationships, money, projects, finances, and Mars is our willpower and drive. And they're making a positive aspect. A feeling like we can take action towards our skills, towards our finances. A feeling like we have the courage in our relationships. It's building. We're building in that energy. It's not exact yet. Okay. And. All right. Let's, let's move the chart ahead. And there's one more thing that I want to talk about, which happens today, is the fact that the moon and Venus are going to trine, okay? Moon's here, Venus is here, 120 degree angle, they're going to trine, and we're feeling very good about our relationships, about our projects, our finances, self-worth values. Okay, this happens at about 11 p.m. Pacific time. Mars is at 18 degrees, and it's moved one step forward and Saturn is prepping to retrograde Saturn is here it's going to go retrograde in on May 23rd 
Also, in the coming week, on May 26th, we have an eclipse. So we are building up into eclipse energy. And Mercury will go retrograde by the end of the week. So this week is loaded and I've done a weekly horoscope for you guys. And I talk about what it means for each zodiac sign separately. So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, so on and so forth. And you can watch that if you're interested. I'll put the link in the description box. Also, Jupiter came into Pisces on May 13th, so last week. And I've done a video on what that means for your particular sign. Jupiter has entered Pisces after 12 years and Jupiter brings with it gifts. So if you want to know what that means, if you're a Taurus or a Virgo or an Aries, then you can watch my Jupiter and Pisces video and I'll put the link in the description box below as well. So that's all for today. And I will give you a very brief background on what has been happening in the astrology for the past year. So you don't need to watch this if you've seen it before. But if you have, I urge you to watch it at least once. So the first thing is that Chiron and Uranus are sextiling, semi-sextiling, sorry. They're going to be in this energy for a long time. And this energy is all about healing in unexpected ways through unexpected skills, self-worth, and unconventional means of making money. The next thing is the North Node, uh, Uranus, semi-sextile. Our goals, whatever our goals are, they are unexpected. Even we didn't think we'd have these goals but we have these goals and we're going to be in this energy for a little bit longer. The next thing is the Chiron North Node sextile 60 degree angle. As we move towards our goals, which are unconventional, which are unexpected, we will heal our identity. The next thing is the Chiron Saturn sextile 60 degree angle. Around Feb, we started to take a decision or build something that would heal our identity and that something will be tangible by the end of the year. Next is the most important aspect, which is what I call the theme of the year. Saturn and Uranus are squaring, making a 90 degree angle. They make they made this angle in the year 2000, so 21 years ago. So this is a rare energy. And this energy is all about getting rid of old things, old beliefs, old ways of working, thinking, living and embracing the new. It's also about embracing who you are on the inside, your authentic self, and getting rid of the idea of who you think you should be. And this process will not feel easy because they are in a square 90 degree angle. It will feel challenging, but by the end of the year, you will have found out who you are and what you want and gotten rid of old ways of living, being, thinking. The next thing is the Jupiter, sorry, Jupiter, Saturn conjunction, they met at zero degrees of Aquarius around here in December of 2020 and began a cycle that will stay with us till 2040. These planets meet once in 20 years, so it's a big, big, big deal. And we will spend the next two years laying the foundation for the next 20 years. The last, the second last thing rather, is the Pluto-Saturn conjunction. These planets meet once in 33 to 38 years. They met in Jan of 2020 and changed our material reality the way we've never seen before. We will be in this cycle, the one that started in Jan of 2020 till 2053, till these planets meet again in the sign of Pisces. And in Jan of 2020, they ended a cycle that began in the year 1982 that was very intimately connected with relationships. The last thing that I want to talk about are the nodes. The North Node is in Gemini right here, and the South Node is in Sag right here. They were in the same placement between, between 2001 and 2003. So whatever events, themes, people, situations, projects came into your life back then, you might be reviewing those, closing those, building those out, resolving some issues connected to that time. And we have been in this energy since May of 2020. So that's all for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Do hit the subscribe button. Bye.